this dog. Look at her. Look at that pregnant belly. Piper, is that your favorite spot by the stove? Is that your favorite spot by the stove? Oh, such a good girl. So welcome back on a cold, snowy morning. As you can see, we've got the fire going because last night it was about 12 degrees, or I'm sorry, it was seven degrees and it's warmed up to about 12 and it's 8.30. So um, definitely a chilly day out. So we're gonna just hunker down today and get some projects done that we've been wanting to get done. Uh, oh, and by we, I mean me, because I want to get the projects done. We have a break from school, so that whenever we have breaks like that, like spring break or Christmas break, then I try to do pro a project each day that I no wouldn't normally get done um, with because of interruptions. So anyways, trying to get that done today. We are also going to start taking Christmas down. It's always sad when Christmas comes down because then everything is bare and it's a little sad, but you know. On to bigger and better things, right? On with the new year. So we're gonna do that. <clears throat> I'm gonna be making some bread today, so I'll show you how I do that. It's a pretty simple recipe. I am going to work on the laundry room and ironing today because that is something that has been getting put off for a long time. And I mean, you know, the stuff that has to get washed is getting washed and dried and folded, but the rest of the stuff is being put aside and has now made it look like the laundry room is blown up. We're also going to get this room cleaned up because as you saw, uh, the Christmas bomb exploded and hasn't been cleaned up yet. So that is on the project list. Let's see, what else? Um, we wanna play some games today. We want to do a couple fun things. So between all that, I think that's all that's probably gonna get done on my list. So let's go make some bread. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. Two tablespoons honey, two and three fourths teaspoon yeast, one fourth of a cup oil, one cup hot water, three cups flour, and one and a half teaspoons salt. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding ingredients and I'll show you what we do. The first thing I do is the honey. Now I've done this enough times that I can easily just eyeball two tablespoons. So. I know it's not exact, but that's okay. Now, we're gonna add the yeast. Now, um, it's two and three fourths teaspoons yeast. I do not use this actual quick rise. I repeat, do not use quick rise. Well, I guess you could, but I don't know what it's gonna do. I just refill this bottle from my bulk bottle. Um, so, if you use quick rise, do at your own risk. I don't know what it'll do. So this is just regular old yeast that I buy in bulk that I put in here and store in the refrigerator. And we are going to do one, two, and three fourths teaspoons. Oh, okay. So next, I'm gonna do one cup hot water. Now, I know they say when you're using yeast not to use super hot water, except by the time I put hot water in this glass measuring cup, which then goes into this cold pan, it's gonna be fine. It won't be too hot for the yeast. I promise I've done it a million times. So here we go. As hot as I can get it. All right, so now we let this sit for a few minutes and let it start to activate and you'll see the bubble, the yeast start to bubble and um, smell yummy. Well, yeasty. If you like the smell of yeast, it'll smell yummy. If you don't, it'll smell yeasty. Okay, so now you can see how bubbly it is and we're gonna go ahead and start adding the rest of the ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna add is the uh, coconut oil. So one, fourth cup coconut oil, and you wanna get refined. You don't want the unrefined oil because it will taste like coconut, and I don't want coconut bread, so get refined coconut oil. Unless you like coconut bread, then maybe go ahead and use refined. I mean unrefined. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> okay, one fourth cup coconut oil, and with that, 
So next we're gonna add flour and you wanna do three cups total. I do a combination of two cups uh, all-purpose flour and one cup spelt and I do heaping uh, cupfuls when I do it so that I like the texture of that. It gives it still, it's still light and fluffy kinda, but it's still solid and enough to do like sandwiches. So this is our main bread that we use for everything. So sandwiches, toast, slicing bread, whatever. So three cups flour. And then last, we're going to do one, whoops, one and a half cups, cups, good Lord, don't do one and a half cups, <laughs> do one and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay, there we go. Okay, so everything is now in the bread machine and we're gonna go ahead and get it going. Your bread machine may have different options for loaf sizes and those aren't really gonna matter at this point because the only thing we're gonna be doing is mixing and proofing it in here. Once that's done, then we'll take it out, put it in a bread pan, let it rise for a second time, and then put it in the oven. My machine defaults to one and a half pounds, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then I'm gonna set it to the dough setting. And then I will hit start. So our timer on this has now gone off, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the bread machine and put it in a greased pan to rise. So you can see that it is a nice fluffy ball. All right, so basically I'm just gonna take it out, form it into a loaf size um, loaf and then I'm going to put it in the pan and basically I'm just going to punch it down. So as you can see I just punched it down so it's all even in the pan. Um, now it's we're just going to leave it to rise. Once it's risen we're going to put it in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. So we're just going to leave this on the counter. It's pretty warm in here with the wood stove oven's ready. Since it's pretty warm in here with the wood stove, it shouldn't take very long, and then we will put it in. Okay, so now you can see that the bread is risen and it's ready to go in the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll flip you around and we'll do that. I clean the kitchen for you. So now it's set for 25 minutes at 350 and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. All right, I'm telling you, perfect bread every single time. I actually let the bread cool overnight and then I cut it the next morning. I don't know why, it always seems to um, cut the best and um, makes the best like sandwich bread if I wait till the next morning to cut it. So we'll let it cool the rest of the day, put it in the bag for the night um, in a bread bag and then I'll slice it out in the morning so um, we can use it for sandwiches. Otherwise, if I let other people cut it, they're cutting big giant slices. So I make sure to cut it um, into all the slices first so that it goes further. But anyways, that's it. Very simple recipe for bread. I hope you guys um, try it. Let me know if you try it. Let me know how it turned out. Or if you have questions, I'd be happy to answer them. I think that's about it for me today. Didn't get all my stuff done, but I got a good portion of it done. Got a lot of projects done, a lot of things checked off the list, but maybe not the things that were actually 
on the list, but that's okay. It was a productive day. It's still snowing out as you can see, but I think that's about it for me. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.